welcome to episode 445 of Get Real, my authenticity training podcast for corporate leaders, unlocking your potential to be you. Now, the big secret here is to... Dickhead. Great leader himself. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep, just about to go in. Excited. Ducks, ducks in a row. Yes. Mm, mm. Now, I was thinking... Reportedly after orange soda. <clears throat> oh my. Woman in finance 2020. What an accolade. Congratulations. Take a seat now. Thanks, Judy. Um, I've actually prepared a list of some of the key messages that I'd really like to hit. Oh, the film we're making today is all about you as a person. What inspires you so you can tear those up? Well, I I laminated it, actually, so, um, can't really... (laughs) All right, lights, camera, action. Let's get inspired. Success involves a lot of moving parts. Thinking outside the box. Synergy. Agility, leveraging assets, delivering robust solutions to complex problems to pivot the customer database. Alignment. Sorry? So sorry, Mel. I've just been struggling with that all day. (laughs) Right. Great. (laughs) Let's simplify this. Tell me about what motivates you. I'm personally motivated by the deep dive, drilling down. Unlocking embedded value in data analytics with the purpose of putting the customer at the heart of everything we do. That word heart always makes me think romance. Not fine. Oh. Anyway. Tell me what this means to you. What heart means? Sorry, is this part of the film? No, the purpose. What's behind all of this for you? What's the purpose of our purpose? (laughs) How would you describe your purpose? (laughs) Can I get your buy-in? I think we need to pivot. Pivot. Mm, uh, Shift to a new strategy. Pivot. Okay. Forget filming for a moment. Let's improvise. We're friends at a barbecue. Friends? Uh, at work. Uh, sorry, I just need to unpack this a little bit. Am I me? It's the weekend and yes, I work on the weekends and also I'm vegan, Judy. Right. No steak for you then. Sweet corn? Well, actually, steak is fine if I'm with an important client, but in this case, I'm guessing you're just Judy. Just Judy, yes. Hmm. I just need some preparation for my role. Just get into character. But you're already in character. You're you. Hmm. I am me. Right, okay. How's your week been? (laughs) 
This week has involved analysing the go-to-market proposition as I lead the, the strategy to... Um... Remember, we're friends. How close are we, Judy? We are so close here. Nearly time to serve, I'd say. These are ready, actually, no, sweet corn. I mean, how, how well do we know each other? Um, you're similar in age to my boss, Shane, so I could use him as you, but then he wouldn't really approve of <laughs> things like this. Shane isn't at this barbecue. It's just you and me. A bit of fun. Well, how about you take over the barbecue? Oh, uh, sorry? <laughs> just watch the barbecue for a minute. Are you enjoying work? Now? Uh, pursuing, um, global, functional, uh, convergence. With the off button, Judy. Okay. <clears throat> How about I play Mel? Here we go. I enjoy helping people make their money work. See, I, I wouldn't say that, Judy. Right. Well, maybe you'd like to play Mel yourself. Also, just a bit of feedback. Uh, stand up straighter and really own the space. Right. Well, m maybe we could just have some sweet corn. Don't want any sweet corn, Judy. Sorry? I said I don't want any fucking sweet corn. Sweet corn was your suggestion, not mine. I, I, you made me come along to this barbecue. I didn't want to be here. And people are very jealous of me, Judy, and, and they don't think I deserve to be here. So I refuse to spend one more minute in front of this barbecue. <clears throat> I am Woman in Finance 2020, and I don't need friends. Or barbecues. I have outcomes. And I never said I wanted sweet corn. <laughs>